ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Muay Thai World Series. My name is Dan Fothkerry, fought at Luke Barai, and from Southampton. Been in the ring seven times, won five, lost two fights. Okay, so my name's Andy, I fight for the Champions Gym in Bournemouth, and I'm looking to make this my fifth win with three losses and a draw. The last fight was at a show in Bournemouth, uh, K1, took on a fight, won that, and then took on another fight straight after that, won that as well. So I actually fought three, four weeks ago now. I fought for the SWFC belt and I won. I smashed him, smashed him with low kicks, so I'm going to be looking to do the same again. Favourite weapons, uh, my knees, uh, using my speed and then chucking a big knee in. Yeah, I know my opponent's Andy Turlins. I've seen him fight a few times. Dan Popper Kerry, he likes to clinch, which I'm going to stay away from. I'm going to use my weapons because my weapons are, you know, my striking, my knees, my punches, my supermans. I think it's going to be a busy fight. It's going, no of us going to hold back. So it's just going to be a tear up all the way through. Where I'm composed, I just think when he hits me, I'm going to explode into him. He's, going to, he's not going to like it. He is not going to like it. I'll um, be smashing the CV for five rounds and been just sparring really hard. At my gym and Champions Gym, we do train hard. I've been smashing pads, I've been clinching, we've been doing bag work, stupid cardio sessions. This is my first time uh, cutting weight for the day before weigh-in. Salt bath last night, which went nice. Um, and the worst thing, I think, is a two weeks X-Band. I love doing it. I just, I just, it just gives me a, a buzz that nothing else really does. Yeah, see Andy Turlin, turn up late for the weigh-in, wearing shorts in November, not pretty sight. As soon as you're walking down there, I just think, right, that's it now. I am here, that's it. I'm going to win. Obviously, I'm the away fighter, so I've got yeah, a bit of support, but I'll get all my buzz from his supporters. I'm feeling good, and there's no way I can see myself losing this. Uh, coming into the ring, I'm buzzing. I'm just soaking it all up, love the atmosphere, I love the buzz. There's no other buzz like it. Start, but it's dominance there. The touch gloves, ding ding, here we go. It's nice, they're just weighing each other up. It, it's a long old fight, it's five two minute rounds. Definitely, and he's been working on that head kick that you just see coming in twice in the first two minutes. I know he throws out quite a lot now, he sets out with his punches very well. It's been nice being, being able to watch Andy here on the World Series and how he's developed. His techniques come on unbelievably. Oh, that's definite. That's definite. I mean, he, he lost the fight earlier this year, but he gave away a good five or six k in weight, and uh, it was just a height that made a difference. But he's, he came off out of a cracking win against Toby Bender. Oh, what, a, what a lovely push kick! And then that's Andy's trademark—a jumping move, he's leaping in. He's very, very quick and good at closing the ground down, getting into his fight, putting the combination in there, and then getting back out again. Yeah, he sees the move he goes for. It. That's that head kick again. He's definitely looking at landing on that side. But Dan's guard strong that time, he, he has his right hand up. You can see the ring slippery. Yeah, he's got a good shin block on him, and you can see the moves coming. There's a Superman punch that he works as well. We'll be, see we'll be seeing those for the five rounds. He he'll close down the ground quickly, he'll put his combination in and then back out again. Yeah, he's actually holding the pace very well. Dan's doing well, keeping him away. Looking again, and I think Dan's looking to work in the clinch again. Doesn't seem to be dominating any, any actual physical knees in there, and he's matching good knee for knee there. As we go into the main card, you can see where the standard goes up, and it's just little things like there's a standoff, they work each other out, and yeah, they're not so kind of hesitant to throw just pointless punches, they pick their shots. Oh, definitely, the shots are coming in with a lot of power and a lot of meaning. There's a good hopping side knee from Andy there. Dan was looking more straight down the middle, which were landing well. Oh, and he's just taking a yeah. big shot. He's, he's recu recouped from it, but Dan's keen to put him against the ropes, throwing those shots, try and finish early. And he's having none of it. He's wrapped the fight up, he's throwing the knees, and he's just taking his time to recover. Yeah, half a slip, half a knee, uh, half a punch to the head. That was good. Nice opening round. Let's see how round two pans out, okay? For a first round, that was a hard round. Oh, good. Dan starting with a kick. And Andy, there's that jumping knee we've been working on. He always wants to land that. Dan saw that coming. He's jammed it in the corner very well. Very well there. Nice. Hop side. He's very hard when your hips are in close to getting his straight knees in. So you've got to work the side knees. And Andy's doing well. Oh, Dan's turned him very well. So what Andy's you, say, you, need to, you need to just try and break the distance between you when you're in the clinch, just get a bit of room so that you can drive the knee through the middle. But you've got to keep on working or the ref will break it. 
Dan looks quite happy. Looks like he's enjoying it. Yeah, he saw the kick coming. He's evading the kick, he's Andy. Oh, lovely punch. He's evading the kick, but he's not counting quite as quick as he could at the moment. What a lovely low kick. He's worked on that. Being capitalised out. And there's that hook. He gave him it back. It's a little bit of payback. A nice left hook there. And he's sort of backed off as, as, as Dan walked in. And again, he's turned him into the corner, which is good tactic when you're in the clinch. Now you want to look at one fight reigning in the side knees. Dan doesn't look troubled though, he's just, he's just working out. The tactic to get a fighter onto the rope so they can't pull their hips back to throw the knees. Hence, the one in the corner is always going to be a little bit on the back foot when they're in the clinch. It's important when you're in the clinch that you are working there. It's such an easy place for one fighter just to be lifting his knees. Oh, lovely straight punch down the middle from Turland there. Just missed with a Superman who went flying past, nearly out of the ring over the top. Here we're back in the clinch again, got Dan on the, on the ropes there. And he's turned Andy, so we're looking now at Dan getting aside. He's, Andy's hopping his hips right in, got a nice underhand grip, which means that Dan's ribs are right open when the knee comes in. Again, Dan doesn't look troubled. Uh, it's Dan doing the driver now, Dan is just taking a back foot slightly. Good block from Dan on the low kick, good block and left jab comes straight in. And he just needs to stand his ground, go back to what he was good at. Try and push yeah. Dan back, close the ground down, come in yeah. with the big flying shots. Very, a very, another, another close round, I'm glad I'm not judging this one. Both fighters have got very experienced corners. Running through the motion, telling them what to do. And here we go, ding, ding, they touch respect gloves. now, they're touching gloves. They've earned a lot of respect off each other. You know, Andy's not rushing in half as much as he does in other fights. That's the side knee we're talking about. Lovely hopping knee. Very hard for Dan if he's back on the road. You can see Dan try and turn Andy in a minute. Good knee there. There's the turn we're talking about. And it, and it is nice to see both of them exchanging as well. Oh yeah, the clinch is actually one of the hardest places to work, physically draining. And these guys aren't afraid to work in the clinch, you know, they're spending time in it. It's got to be a good 15, 20 seconds and they're both working and need. A lot of fighters often stagnate in the clinch and have a little bit of a breather. But these guys are actually full respect, working hard. Andy, lovely low kick. Dan counters that left hook. That's the same left hook that sent uh, Andy flying back in the first round. So it's got to be careful and keep that guard a little bit tighter, Andy has. Again, we're back to this clinch scenario. The thing with the clinches, there's so many tricks and different things that you can work at. It's, 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 you, see, you see, every time Andy's throwing in that right hop inside, Dan's lifting the left leg, which jams it. So it means that halfway in the air, Andy's throwing it, and it doesn't land. It sort of blocks with the shin. He just got that one in the path. You see, Dan's trying to lift the leg to jam it, and he's just peeing him to the knee there. Dan running and runs into a push kick, but again Andy's got a some sort of running back. We're back into that clinch. Dan's back in his own corner now. Uh, Andy's covering up nicely. I mean, you saw Dan coming forward, then looking for that big shot. Not really affecting Andy. He's just he's just covering up, wrapping it up. Oh, it's a very even fight. Definitely, Dan's looking at trying to dominate a little bit in the boxing. I think Andy's trying to dominate a little bit more in the clinch and the kicking area at the moment. Lovely turn by Dan. That's exactly it. Now Andy's got his back on the ropes. So he's going to find it hard to put his hips out and in, but again, we're looking to turn in there. Also, referee keep happy to keep it going while they're working. Oh, that's that high kick coming in at the very end. So he's going to try and disguise it, though. In a moment, he's throwing a high kick when the guard's already there. So it's not, not like he's going to land it. Dan, Dan, he can see it coming, but his guard's there. He's got to fake something. He's got to fake something to bring the guard down. Maybe fake a low kick so the guard comes down. Fake a push kick so he goes to catch it, and then flip the high kick in. Okay, round four. Both fighters keen to get back in there. This is where Tessa stamina into the fourth and fifth round. Excellent. Dan starts it off very well. Like I say, I mean, he, he's got a lot of stamina. Six rounds he did the other day, two different three round fights. He won them both. You know, and he just won a, a fight down five twos. Very tough fight against Luke Barber, who's fighting later tonight. That's it. That's just the frustration showed in there, punching to the back of the head in the clinch. Just wanted to break it there. Good punch there by Andy Turlin. Seemed to and roil Dan though, you could tell he threw back three or four instantly. But Andy straight out of the way of them, nothing connecting. Oh, he was, and you can see that Andy wants to clinch. Oh, now Dan's going in the middle of that clinch. Good push kick from Andy, but a lovely straight punch down the middle from Dan, but rocked Andy's head back. 
again, as you can see, as Dan's driving forward, he's, he's trying for those big shots, and he's just backing off nicely, waiting for his moment, and then as soon as Dan over lunges, he's just wrapping it up so they can't really be hit with anything too hard. Definitely, and now Andy's in the corner, he's been on the ropes, he's got a turn to get out, but by the ref broken, because the action again was stagnated a little bit. Just hit the arms there, nice low kick, but a good one-two combination back as a counter from Dan. That's what we're looking at. Andy getting a second win. Back to what we know. Driving in. That's Coming in with the big shots. That's the tornado. You don't know where it's going to come from. You don't know what it's going to do. And one day I can tell you, coming to the end of this round and the beginning of the next, he will give every ounce that he's got. Oh, definitely. He's got Dan pushed back in the corner now, but Dan's the one doing the knee. And he's got to throw some knees there. It's not a wrestling match. Dan's got throwing four or five unanswered knees at the moment. And Dan has actually been working well in turning, Andy. I mean, the referee's broken up there. As soon as he puts him against the rope, Dan's been working well in trying to turn Definitely. it back around. And he's got a nice short, sharp push kick and low kick. But again, Dan's looking at the head. He's, he's and he had, and he's just swinging. A little bit of frustration there, that one. But again, if it had connected, could have been a showstopper, you know? Again, at this stage in round four, you can see the cringe isn't quite as sharp and fast. They're just grabbing a little bit of... Uh, I mean, a I mean, it's hard work. You can tell how he's taken out of the fighters. It's, oh, a long, it's a long old fight. If you spend five rounds in the clinch, you know coming towards the end of that fight, you're going to have nothing left. 120 seconds. 120 yeah. seconds for these guys. He's laying it all on the line. The crowd are going wild here. Yeah. I've not known him not to give everything. Oh, here we go. That's it. He's throwing the heavy lever and a lovely jump in there. But he just missed the target. There's Andy. Here we go. He's going to give it everything now because both sides know to be sure of a win. It's going to take an eight count or a knockout. It is that close. You can tell both fighters have left a bit in the tank. This is where the war begins. Oh, this is where the fight's won or lost. Lovely low kick from Andy. Lovely low kick. Just lost his balance and then fell himself over there. But a strong low kick. You know, this, this fight has oh, been so punches close. from Dan. He's got to keep it going a little bit tighter, Andy has. The fight's been so close. This is where it'll be won or lost. It is. It's all coming down to the wire. Now, it must be about halfway through the round, and these guys have started. Now, they've put everything into it. You know, 60 seconds probably left. Just got to finish strong. Back into the clinch. Oh, there's a big knee from Andy trying to get that knee to the head. Neither one has been able to utilise it so far. I mentioned neither head. Obviously, they're both keeping their heads up. That's where a lot of strength in the net comes, you know. These guys, neither one wants their head to be pulled down into that knee zone because that is a dangerous area, you know. D Dan's trying to stop those knees for Andy, but Andy's coming up over the side, he just is. pushing his leg aside, over the side. And oh, what a lovely fly punch here from Andy. And Dan's countered by a lovely little hook. A knee nearly to the head, just blocked by Andy's forearm. But that hook was coming over. Oh, what a lovely hopping knee right into the body, but just as the ref was trying to split there. Like you say, you've got to be That's careful. That's low kick, and he's got a vicious low kick coming in, especially for his weight, you know. He gets all his body weight. You see Dan just, his leg buckling, but he gave it straight back to Andy there. Both this these is, fighters feeling it. This is going to come down to the wire. You know, I really couldn't pick this. And both fighters are still giving it everything in there. The, the tornado's digging deep, but Dan's driving forward. Dan is looking. Oh, what oh. a lovely knee. That's it. Dan's coming in with a one two. But and again, he's, he's flying Andy forward. Andy's saving right the energy and throwing in just a tornado. The move, the destruction. He's looking for the knockout, looking for the eight count. What a fantastic fight. You can take nothing away from either of them. They gave it everything. Do you know what? It's going to be very hard to say one of them lost that fight. You know, after a fight like that, I've got to say, there's only two people, you know, two winners. And there, There is not a loser of that fight. I mean, technically, you're going to have to have one, I presume. But both of those boys can hold their heads high. That was probably the fight of the night by far. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, after five unbelievable rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. And we have a winner by majority decision. He is now the owner of the Chang Southeast Area Cup from the red corner, Andy Tornado. Ladies and gentlemen, let's also hear it. The old runner-up, the Milky Bar Kid, Dan Poe.